I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. We are going to be Christmas decor shopping. I'm so, so excited for this. No reindeer games because he has a red nose. It's crazy. We got stuff for the kitchen back here and for the bookshelf. Rundell walks to the Target though, but so like, they are slaying. We are Santa's Hobby Lobby is the main event, so we are gonna see what they have in store. Bags on bags on bags. Is this all about? In today's video, we are going to be Christmas decorating shopping. Christmas is the time of the year. I just came back from my dad's house today. I had a little day of running errands. I actually went to Target and got a couple of Christmas decorations for this year that I want to show you guys. And I also have a ton. And when I say a ton, babe, like three bins worth of decorations that I have already accumulated from the past two years. Yes, two years. And if you're wondering, this is my first apartment. This apartment has really taken me out of my comfort zone. I have gotten so many decorations for different parts. My apartment is relatively small, but I still like to try to decorate as much as possible. And even after I've almost been here for a year, there's still a couple of paintings that I want to put on the wall. Speaking of that, you guys, I actually just bought this. I don't know if you can tell how big this is on camera. But this is literally huge, you guys. Not even all the way in frame. I'm planning on DIYing that canvas and putting it over my bed. I was going to buy a painting, but it was running from like $300 to $500. I found a way to DIY it for $100. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers that it works. Other than the canvas for my room, that's like regular decor that's going to be year round. I do have those three bins. I actually ended up buying a Christmas tree. I'm super excited about that. I just got a collar delivered and it's just this Christmas collar. It looks so, so cute. I'm super excited about the collar. I've never had a collar growing up, only ever skirts under the tree, and I just love the look of a collar. So I got a collar, got my tree, and what we're going to do is we're gonna unbox all of these, and we're gonna do a little bit of like an inventory check, and then I'll show you guys everything I got from Target as well. We're going to unbox all three of those bins. I am drinking some tea. If you guys are wondering, this mug, I'm pretty sure it's from Home Goods. I don't think I have the tag underneath of it anymore, but I get like all of my mugs. You guys know my obsession with my mugs. 90% of those mugs are either from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Most of them are from Home Goods. Pretty sure I got this for like five or six dollars when I was in college. And also Target has pretty good mugs as well. I can't wait for them to um, set up their Christmas decorations. Let's talk about that, okay? I have been so anxious watching these Christmas themed videos of these women. I don't know where they live, but they're going to their stores and they have decorations like fully stocked at like Target, Walmart, Ross, everywhere, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, like everyone is fully stocked. And I went to my Target today, two of them, two locations, and both of them were literally setting up. Like they didn't have anything out. The, the things that they did have out, I literally snagged. And when I say they had them out, like they were literally taking them out the box and putting them into the section. The one store that I will say that my anxiety was valid for is probably Hobby Lobby. I saw decorations for Hobby Lobby in like August, you guys. When I was shopping for that fall decorate with me video, they had Christmas decor already out. So I already know that the one store I need to hurry up and get to is Hobby Lobby. I am planning on going Christmas shopping this weekend on Friday, like early in the morning. Like I'm talking about bright eyed bush till eight o'clock in the morning. Hopefully I fulfill that destiny for myself and I will take you guys along with me for that as well. But first let's unbox years past and figure out what we're gonna do. Let's do a little inventory count. The TV, if you guys can see. I have found my DVD copy of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It actually comes in a set with like a bunch of different Christmas classics. And I'm gonna play Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer while I take all these boxes apart and do a little inventory count but as you can see the TV is still on my TV stand and that is not going to be the case by the time I decorate for Christmas. I'm planning on having somebody mount the TV in the next couple of weeks. The TV mounts are right here. I have two of them because I want to put a TV in my bedroom as well but for right now we are rocking with this right here until I get it mounted to the top. So I'm going to watch some Rudolph unbox these glorious boxes and you guys my lantern from a couple years ago. I literally bought this two years ago. Like when I say I've been planning for this moment for years. So let's unbox this and and see what's going on because I low key forgot half of the things that I bought because I bought them so long ago. So let's get into it.
If you're an OG watcher, this is from me and Gwen's first apartment in college. Any choir director ever. <laughs> That's crazy. Not they sounded terrible. bottle caps but they're little hats she probably thought I didn't keep those but I did girl okay you guys this is everything I got from Target today um, got some picks for the tree got some more picks for the tree a pillow that I've been looking for some ornaments and I got these mini this mini tree that I love I'm gonna put it in my bathroom I think um, and I think I'm gonna put this in the bathroom too. Everything was $10 and under. That was the most expensive thing I got and it's 10 bucks. That was five, three, I think three, three, five. Like, Rundell walked to the Target dollar spot. Like, they are slaying. But I just changed into this shirt because I think I'm going to tackle my DIY project tonight. Uh, at least part of it, the spackle, before I go to sleep. I'm now on to the Santa Claus 2. I've seen the first one a lot of times, so I just kind of wanted to skip to the second one because I totally forgot what happens in this one. I just put everything that I showed you guys, except for a couple things that are misplaced. So I put the lanterns here. I have the things and they're labeled for when I get everything. So this is for the bedroom. This is for the tree. Got stuff for the kitchen back here and for the bookshelf. I thought I had stuff for the TV stand, but I'm going to have somebody hang the TV. And I think I'm just going to come up with a whole new concept for the TV stand. So I am going to figure that out this weekend. The big tree's over here. It's a flocked tree. It's my first tree that I've ever gotten by myself. So I'm super excited for it. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to show you the other parts of the things from Target. I totally forgot about this bag. So I got these. I was watching a girl named Katie Vining, I think. I have been watching her videos like crazy for Christmas, you guys. And she saw this in the Target dollar spot. And I was like, what are you even going to use this for? And then she was like, you could put your remotes in it. And I'm like, girl, you're a genius. So I got this one for this year, more like a neutral tone. Probably put it somewhere over here. And then I just got this one as a backup in case I wanted it for either now or later. These two, I'm honestly probably not even going to use those picks this year. But I wanted to buy them because there was such a steal at $3. I also got this for Lucky. I just like to take pictures with him <laughs> in these little clothes. Cause now he's a little old man. I think it's so funny. The little mountains look so cute. And like if I'm wearing green pajamas, I'll match with him. And then this, he's definitely gonna be interested in, but he's not going to get this until December 1st. Guys, I found an advent calendar for dogs. So cute. But that's basically everything I got for today. That was my adventures for today. As far as Christmas decorating, I'm definitely going to do like a full decor haul when I get everything. This is not even the half of it, babe. I just wrote down like my entire itinerary for my shopping trip this weekend so expect a big big haul but i'm gonna take you guys along with me for the shopping and until then i will see you this weekend okay so i totally wasn't planning on doing my shopping until later but i found this wreath while they were setting up for 20. got some hangers i found a better flock tree for three dollars so i'm gonna pick this up a little gingerbread pillow and i found pants that match lucky's pajamas so i'm gonna pick this up we are going to be Christmas decor shopping. I'm so, so excited for this. And you guys, today's the day that I finally bust out my Telfar Ugg bag. I have not worn it since I bought it. I still have the chestnut one that I haven't worn, but I figured today was the day for the black one. You may not believe me, but it's actually 8.39 a.m. I'm actually a little bit late. I wanted to get a head start on this day. I wanted to be at the store at 9 a.m. and that's not gonna happen. So essentially, here's the game plan, you guys. I have gone Christmas shopping already a little bit, uh, sprinkled in with in the past like week or so i've been watching so many youtube videos katie she's been talking about hobby lobby for literally like three months so i need to go to hobby lobby i do have this box here of things that i'm planning on returning today if i find a suitable replacement for them i was watching this girl on youtube put her tree up and it was the first time i have ever heard of in my adult life or anything about tree picks i didn't even know they existed so you can basically just stick these in your tree and it adds dimension adds a little bit of texture to your tree i bought like 10 of these 
peppermint ones, but I have an inkling that Hobby Lobby has more chic peppermint ones that I would like. I don't even know if I'm planning on using them for this year because I actually just bought 12 crystal picks on Macy's.com this morning, like two o'clock in the morning before just now. I think, I think I'm gonna get coffee at home instead. So I have this cup, let's get into the spirits. I have my, you're actually inside of my microwave right now, but I have my cup cabinet up there. I'm gonna use this festive little cup for today. This is the caramel macchiato. I'm so excited, I totally forgot I even bought this cup. Also, have you guys seen the new Starbucks cups? I've seen like the diamond version of them at the store and I'm like so tempted to buy it, but I literally have this one, so I have not bought it, but y'all know me. I just can't resist a good cup. Okay, got my bag, got my cup. Just wearing this little trench coat situation. It's actually from American Apparel, RIP to American Apparel. If you know, you know. I don't even think they have any physical stores anymore, but I just randomly got this. My little Telfizi, my Starbucks cup, and I got my mini Uggs on. I got the sequin pair last winter for myself, but I just decided to bite the bullet and get the regular black pair. I'm a little bit traumatized because when I used to work at Sephora, I got hand sanitizer on them. So I'm gonna be really careful with them this time. But I love the mini Ugg look. It's literally 30 something degrees outside, so I have to do this. I have to be bundled up like this. All right. Let's get shopping. Okay, you guys, I am in the parking lot of Hobby Lobby. I'm super excited. I am mostly here to get tree stuff, but anything else that comes my way, Hobby Lobby is the main event. So we are gonna see what they have in store. I actually got here with good time a half an hour before they open. There's already people coming in and out of there. So let's see what's up with Hobby Lobby. I'm so excited. Okay, we're starting at Hobby Lobby. I was on the hunt for these ornament pillows and I found the Sherpa version at Hobby Lobby. Love everything at Hobby Lobby is 50% off of the retail price. Run, do not walk. I repeat, run, do not walk, okay? I was planning to do a winter wonderland theme on my tree. So you're seeing me in the white and silver section. I'm in love with everything. They had a lot of gingerbread stuff. I was looking for my kitchen, but I didn't see anything that I liked particularly here. I love the Candyland theme in here. It was everything. I wish I had a house big enough to just make an entire floor Candyland. They also had peppermint, which I'm planning on doing next year as well. They had a ton of ornaments and everything, decor for literally any color scheme you could think of. I love Hobby Lobby. It's my new favorite place to go for anything Christmas. They even had this gold Santa, so cute. They also had a pink theme for pink Christmas. They had a ton of wreath selections. If you guys are looking for anything decor wise, I highly suggest looking up to see if you have a Hobby Lobby near you because this was by far the best Christmas selection that I went to out of all of these stores, you guys, at terrific prices. They had a little retro deer sign. Like it was so cute. They even have like a whole section, literally just for the Grinch. It's everything. Run, don't walk to Hobby Lobby, okay? I cannot hype them up enough. They even had a little Clary stall. You guys know how I feel about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is an entire section for tree picks. Like, come on, you guys. It was everything, everything and more. I love it here. And when you guys see my Christmas haul, you will see how much I loved it at Hobby Lobby. It was everything. They even have trees. I definitely will be back next year. Next was home goods. We live for home goods. We love a home goods moment. I saw this deer immediately upon arriving inside of the store. And I just feel like it's perfect for my TV stand. So I decided to pick her up, or him actually, with the antlers. $19.99. Guys, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer section was everything. Next we're in Target, back in the wreath section. So I actually found this garland that matches my wreath that I picked up earlier on Halloween perfectly. So I picked that up, walked around a little bit, the Wonder Shop. I have stockings already. I was just browsing at this point and I just really love Target. I got a, a couple other designs as well. I just didn't film them in this video. I went to like 10 Targets this Christmas season, you guys. Next, we're going to Home Sense. I don't go to this one often because I don't have as many near me, but I went out of my way to find this. I was trying to find a cup like this in Home Goods, but they didn't have any. They had it at Home Sense for $9.99. The reindeer wine glass. Also, these tree clips. Oh my God, such a score. I'm so glad I looked down on my way out of here. It was everything. I think they were, I don't even know, $17, $18. Watch the haul to find out, you guys. I'm back home. Lucky is drinking his water. 
Um, I would say that this was a success, you guys. I have bags on bags on bags. Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Home Sense. I even went to Michael's to go get some paint. I'm finishing up this little DIY situation I have right here. This is all the stuff that I currently have. You guys, <laughs> I have so much stuff. Lucky is definitely interested. This was a huge success and I'm not even finished. This was the main bulk though. I'm still planning on going on one more little trip, maybe back to Target, I don't know, but this is what we have for right now. Okay, this is a couple of days later. I don't even remember what day I went because I've been to Christmas shopping literally 5,000 times within the past three weeks. But this is Hobby Lobby again. Got these snowflake pillows. I was informed by Katie Vining that these are dupes by Pottery Barn, but they were $10 around there for the half price at Hobby Lobby. I will say Pottery Barn is visibly more quality, but they're also like quadruple the price. I picked that up. I <laughs> dropped my AirPod while trying to make a thumbnail. Love that for me. We went to Home Goods again. I didn't really find anything this day, but I just wanted to look around. You know, I couldn't resist a shop. I saw mugs. You know how I feel about my mugs and my cups. I just had to look. I think I ended up getting one this day, but you know, I had to check them out. Next was this throw, you guys, jackpot, $19.99 for this beautiful throw, and it was the softest one in the store. I didn't really find anything at Walmart, but I just wanted to look around and show you guys what I saw. My second home, we are going to Target, baby. I looked into the Wonder Shop collection. Didn't really see anything I liked in here except for the dollar spot finds. Finally saw these. Saw these in Katie Vining's video, had to pick them up. We went to Pottery Barn. I've never been in this nice of a Pottery Barn. <laughs> Come to think of it, I barely go to Pottery Barn, period. But this store was everything. And I came here specifically for gingerbread houses. So I got two houses from this store. And look at the table set up in the love. Eventually. This is the current situation. Yeah, it's a bit insane. I'm gonna go film my decor haul because girl, I got a lot to get through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.